Today I'm making a sweet potato pie for Logan Sargent. I've never made a sweet potato pie before. I've never even tasted it or seen it in person. So I'm expecting this to go pretty much the same way that Logan's races go. Terribly. So the recipe that I'm using did say to use a pre-baked pie shell. Um, then bitches are like fucking $9 for a shell and this was $2.70 for five sheets. But yes, so basically I'm gonna start by making my pie crust, which I am gonna have to, <gasps> I just ripped it. Oh my God, oh my God, okay. Okay, work, this is already not working. Very on brand though, I feel, for Logan. I have a terrible feeling that this has like defrosted when I was buying it and now it's like fused everything together. So this is not helpful. So I did watch the Miami race this morning. Um, yeah, look, I'm getting Logan done out of the way before he gets replaced. Uh, <laughs> I certainly wasn't shocked that like Logan had a bad race. That's pretty par for the call. Um, I just feel bad for him because like, it seems like every single race he does is not a good race. And in the beginning in 2023, I was like, oh, people are being mean about him being like the shittest rookie. People are being rude. But then I realized that Gotifi got more points in one race than Logan's gotten in his entire career. And I was kind of a bit more uh, pragmatic about my approach to that. This is not defrosted, so I guess we'll move on to the uh, the potato section of this. So basically I picked to do sweet potato pie because of... Marshmallows belong on sweet potatoes. Absolutely. Does your family do that? Yes. Talks about eating it with marshmallows and you gotta understand, I'm Australian. I have no idea how to make this. I have no idea what this is supposed to taste like. I have no idea why somebody would want to eat this. Um, especially with marshmallow topping. I thought when I first heard this that that meant like marshmallow fluff that you would like create a meringue out of and put on top of the pie. And then I found out that no, it's like literally just marshmallows on top. So I bought these. That's so so shit. So the recipe, it said basically to put the whole thing, the whole sweet potato in water, boil it for 50 minutes and then skin it. Uh, no offense to someone who's never cooked this before. That sounds like a fucking waste of time. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop it up into like smaller chunks and then boil it. I also am not like a chef. I don't know if you can tell, I'm not a chef. I'm just a fuckwit with a video idea. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this recipe is also in um, not the metric system, the imperial system, I think. Yes, it's in the imperial system. Um, so I don't really understand a lot of what's said. Ah, uh, cause I'm not, I can't be fucked to look it up. So basically it's a, a half a pound or a pound, said pound of sweet potato. Yeah, I also don't know what a fluid ounce is either. So we're just gonna be guessing a lot of this. I know we've all heard the rumors about Kimi Antonelli replacing Logan at Imola, which would be the next race. And I think it's so funny that James Vowles like went on record and was like we have no we have no intention of doing that we have absolutely no intention of doing that whatsoever um and then like hours after he did that interview it came out that uh, actually they had applied for dispensation on kimmy's super license so i'm not a great mathematician i failed year 12 maths but that's neither here nor there but james vows is a statistician so James used to be head of strategy in the Mercedes domination era. You know, he's famous for Valtteri, it's James, and like being really, really good with the strategy. That looks fucked, whatever. I'll give that bit to my housemate. And I don't know, in my discalcula, I can't really see how replacing one driver who's unconfident in the car, was jumped through the rankings too quickly, didn't have enough time in F2 to really get to grips with the car, you know, only spent a year in it, probably took that leap well before he should have. Um, I just don't see how replacing someone like that with someone who spent even less time in F2 is really gonna work. 
Because here's the thing, right? I think that Turtle Wolf has sleep paralysis where he sees um, Max Verstappen and Fred Vasua and Christian Horner at the foot of his bed like the fucking ghosts from A Christmas Story, A Christmas Carol. That one. I also didn't clearly pass year 12 literature. He's like fucking tripping. He's like, oh my God, I've lost Lewis and I lost the opportunity to sign Verstappen. I cannot miss out on Kimmy. And I think he is like so tunnel vision on this fucking kid. Yes, so basically they act like Kimmy is the fucking next coming of every great world champion before him. But yes, I can't imagine that James Bowles, master statistician, great guy, don't know him personally, I can't imagine that he is like, yeah, no, this is the answer to all of my unconfident driver issues is to just put in another driver with even less fucking experience. I just, I don't believe that. If that does happen, I should become a team manager because clearly you don't need fucking maths to do that. I don't know what to say about Logan. He seems wonderful. He genuinely, I love watching team talk. I just get fucking crippled with apologizing, calling himself a dumbass, calling himself an idiot. I'm just like sitting there and I'm just like, oh my god, this man is going through just the most fucking stress I've ever seen in my life. These are done so now I have to get the skin off them by running them under cold water. This seems like a lot of bullshit. Like, I'm being honest, in this recipe, you're just making fucking mashed potato with extra shit and then putting it in a pie. Boiling it with the skins on, could have done without that step to be honest. Basically, what I was saying is obviously Logan's having a really fucking hard time at the minute um, and I can fully understand that. I actually empathize with him very, very deeply and I'm being deadly serious because I too submitted my entire teens and early 20s to a dream that fucking didn't work out and realized or came to the realization in the middle of that dream that it was actually a fucking waking nightmare. So I really feel for Logan. I and I'm on F1 TikTok, and let me tell you, if you get like a Logan edit come up on your For You page, nine times out of 10, that shit is the most heart-wrenching, heartbreaking thing I've ever seen in my entire goddamn life. Always set to a Taylor Swift song, and always has to do with how he's not like a part of the, the grid. I don't know if it's supposed to look like this, but that kind of looks like dog shit. Fuck, there's supposed to be eggs in here. I don't think I'll put them in. Fuck. It's got a seal on it. <laughs> I also don't measure uh, spices i feel like that's you know uh, intuitive you're just supposed to commune with the holy spirit and kind of get a get a gauge and mine is definitely way more wet than the pictures look like like he's somebody he's in my top 10 of drivers but he's my list is entirely done on vibes but i just feel so fucking bad for him bro like i just Feel like dude like maybe you would be happier in nascar maybe you would be happier in formula e, like stuff like that i don't know it was like yes okay k mag took him out and k mag was doing k mag shit and he just like fucked up logan's race but it's like it seems to be every time somebody fucks up his race or he spins out or something like that we sound like an absolute bitch talking about this is someone who doesn't even drive a regular car because they get anxiety attacks this still looks super, not really sure, <laughs> not really sure about that. I think that needs a little bit more cinnamon. It's like flavorless. It just tastes like sugar. Like I fucked up and this is not gonna work. All right, fuck it, let's see. Let's see if it'll set. That was, what the fuck. You know what? I'm big enough to say I didn't measure a lot of this. So that's kind of on me, that's kind of on me. It's like white. I don't know why it's white. Is that what I'm supposed to be looking like? Is that good? I genuinely feel like Logan at this point. I'm about to have a fucking mental breakdown. Okay, well, in you go, buddy. Oh, so I just checked it. Actually looks like how it's supposed to be looking. We've got the marshmallows here to put on the top. Everything I've read says to use mini marshmallows, but you know, we solved one issue. I'm sure the next one won't be a problem. Logan had so much potential and I think to, that James is slightly to blame for it. I think that, you know, this rush that people seem to have to push people up through the, you know, F4, F3, uh, F2 ranks 
is not everyone wants to create another max i think Con conscientious opinion i think everybody wants to create a max without realizing that max is the exception to the rule but i think there's just such a fucking lesson to be learned when it comes to moving people and jumping them too fast and too hard and pushing this smells so good right now <laughs> i feel like i'm gonna eat my words and if in Imola, Logan does a fantastic job, it is because I personally voodooed this video to take back my opinion on sweet potato pie. But I just feel like it's, it's another step in the, in the, in the playbook of, of Logan. And it's so disappointing because it's been twice now in Shanghai and in Japan where he got to P11 and he held it. He didn't just get it and then immediately get overtaken. He held it. So I'm just, and then like in the sprint, we get him at P10. So if I'm correct, this is actually how it's supposed to look. So I think I actually did a good job. Tastes like P19. Maybe the cross taste butter. It's just so sweet. Or is it like having a... Oh. You know what, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> this dish is, um, this dish is Logan in F2. Um, but this, this was fucking amazing, so good on you, Logan.